So now with this uh, next part, we will discuss the veins, the venous blood flow. And the definition of a vein are blood vessels that bring blood back to the heart chambers. Two of these important blood vessels are called vena cava. This one right here is the superior vena cava, and it's bringing blood back to the right atrium. And the inferior vena cava right here, okay, you can see it right here clearly, these this is the inferior vena cava, is bringing blood back to the left atrium as well. There is one other uh, set of veins here in the heart uh, that bring blood back to the heart, and it's this one right here. These are called the pulmonary veins. Okay? Now, if we carefully turn this around, you can see one of the pulmonary veins here. Here's a stub for the other pulmonary vein, and there's actually two more. If we turn this around slowly, we can see all pulmonary veins. Pulmonary vein, pulmonary vein, pulmonary, pulmonary veins. Now, you may be wondering, why are these pulmonary veins if they're colored red? Ah, because they are bringing back blood from the lungs, meaning that this blood is now rich in oxygen. Okay, so these are your pulmonary veins, the inferior and superior vena cava. Okay, good. Now, these veins, uh, the inferior and superior vena cava will be bringing blood back from all different parts of your body through different veins. So let's start with discussing and showing you the veins way down here in the lower limbs. We'll go all the way down, down to the lower limbs, and we'll start down here at the feet. Okay? Now, first we'll start with this arch here. You see this arch? This is called dorsal venous arch and it looks just like an arch okay there is also an in, there is also a plantar arch which is not very well uh, discernible with this model but it would be located under here underneath the dorsal venous arch now the dorsal venous arch then comes up this way comes this way okay and it will lead to some other veins it will lead to form this long vein that comes all the way up to the inguinal region. We call this superficial vein. It's called the great saphenous vein. Here on the lateral surface, we have another saphenous vein. Okay? And uh, that, one is, that one is located right here. That's the small saphenous vein right here. Okay? These are superficial veins, including the dorsal arch. Now, let's look at some deeper veins now. A deeper vein is this one right here that you see coming up along the front of your leg. And this is the anterior tibial vein. Then here you have the posterior tibial vein. And you have here the uh, fibular vein. And these three veins will come together here and form the popliteal vein, popliteal vein, which is located behind your knee. Okay. And at around this level, we form now the femoral vein, the great, very important femoral vein. Okay, the femoral vein. Now there is also another femoral vein, it's this one right here. This is the deep femoral vein. So you have your deep femoral vein and this important one here, the femoral vein. Okay. So these are all uh, deeper veins. Okay. Now the femoral vein ascends up this way and at this level we now call it the, uh, the external iliac vein. Here you can also appreciate it from this angle, the external iliac vein. There is also an internal iliac vein. This is the internal iliac vein. Okay. Now you can appreciate it on this side as well. Here's a portion of the femoral vein, the external iliac vein, and the internal iliac vein. Now, the internal and the external iliac vein come together and form 
this common structure here, that's called the common iliac vein. Same thing on this side, the common iliac vein. Now the common iliac veins then come together, merge together, and form the beginning here of the inferior vena cava. All of this large, thick blood vessel here, this blue one here, is a vein and it's called the inferior vena cava. And it comes up through the abdominal cavity into the thoracic cavity and ends up here where we said before, right up here into the right atrium of the heart. Okay, so now let's look at the abdominal region, the, ve the veins of the abdominal region. Again, this was the uh, common, common iliac veins. They come together, form the, uh, form the inferior vena cava. And then let's look at the branches of the inferior vena cava. First of all, we notice these little thin branches right here. This one right here. It's actually right next to the gonadal artery. Okay, and it, yes, it is also called gonadal, but it's called the gonadal vein. Again, we do not know if this is a male or female model, so we'll just call them gonadal. But if we knew this was a male, it would be testicular vein. If we knew this was a female, then it would be the ovarian vein. But here you have the gonadal vein, gonadal artery that we mentioned before. And on the other side, same thing, gonadal vein and the left gonadal artery as well, okay? Now, continuing with the veins, another major uh, vein is this one right here. This blue one right here that comes up this way. This is the inferior, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, this is the inferior mesenteric vein. The inferior mesenteric vein. And it comes up this way and it merges with this vein, the splenic vein. See the splenic vein coming from the spleen? This is the spleen. Splenic vein and inferior mesenteric vein. They come together and they drain into this large vein here. This is the superior mesenteric vein. Superior mesenteric vein. Now, where all of these veins come together, the superior, the splenic, and the inferior mesenteric vein, where they come together, they will form here. Deep in here, if you look up here, this is the hepatic portal vein. Hepatic portal vein. Okay? Hepatic portal vein. Okay, good. Uh, one other important uh, set of veins that we have here are these. The renal veins. Left renal vein. Right renal vein. And you can see... As you've noticed already, most of these arteries and veins accompany each other. So you see right here, renal vein, right above it, the renal artery. Okay, the same thing was true with many of the other arteries and veins that you saw. Now, the inferior vena cava then ascends upward and it passes into the thoracic cavity. So we're going to turn this around now to see better inferior the inferior vena cava, okay? You also can appreciate on the dorsal surface of the inferior vena cava, these, these are your lumbar veins, okay? And then once the inferior vena cava passes up through the diaphragm into the thoracic cavity here, it will come up this way and empty and drain into the uh, right atrium. Now, here on the dorsal surface, we can see some other important things. Uh, we see, first of all, you see these loops right here, okay? These are called, uh, these right here, these are called the ascendant lumbar veins, ascendant lumbar veins. Now, the ascendant lumbar veins, as you can see, they're in the lumbar region. But somewhere around this level, okay, somewhere around this level of my stick, from here, they actually change name, and now it's called the hemiazygos or hemiazygos vein, okay, and over here we have the, uh, I'm sorry, 